here. Huh? It's here. Uh, hmm? Uh, nothing. Look at it, it's so beautiful and light at sunset. I just got caught staring. How could I? But she really is beautiful. And sure, I really. But um, uh, so uh, nothing. Well, we here. I thought we might ring this bell together. For some reason, just thinking about ringing a bell just reminds me of the opening to Tales of Asperia because the song is called Ring a Bell. Here? This is called the Ruren Bell. Ruren? There's a legend about the creation of Inso Enoshima. A legend? Yes. Long ago, a giant five handed dragon made its territory near here. A dragon? The dragon was so powerful he would make long droughts interrupted only by violent thunderstorms. The people were terrified of the dragon's power and brought tribute to him to save his desires, even living sacrifices. But then a goddess appeared. The goddess created Enoshima when she appeared, but of course, there's more to the story than that. The dragon was sh struck by the beauty of the goddess, and he wanted her so badly he couldn't stand it. Coincidence? I think not. But the goddess obviously refused to marry a dragon who caused such suffering to people. But because of that, the dragon saw the error of his ways and began to use his power to help humans. He caused rain to fall and the sun to shine to try and help humans. And before long, the people recognized his achievements. The dragon was, gra was gladly able to marry the goddess. When the dragon exhausted the last of his power from the humans, he turned into the mountain here on the island so that he could stay with the goddess forever. That's the legend of how Inoshima was created. I never knew Simon had such a romantic creation myth. The name Roran's Bell means Dragon's Love Bell. Or the testicles as you know them. <laughs> Dragon's Love Bell. Yes, that's right, and so... And so? And so... Yeah, I got it. We ring the bell to honor the dragon's love. Yeah. Huh? Was I wrong? Uh, no, not at all. That is about right. I knew it. So, when you honor the dragon's love, you... Oh, I know. It's a prayer that you might come here again. I see. It's a bit like the Trev Fountain. That's right. Oh my god, our protagonist is an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna ring it. Wait! Huh? Let's... We should ring it together, I think. Together? Yes, I think we ring together will make a bigger sound for the dragon to hear. I see. That does sound better. And if we ring together, maybe it means I can come here with Makoto again. Okay, let's ring it together. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Heave ho! Good. At least I took the time to eat then. Makoto, I, I don't know if I can just go home like this. I need to tell Makoto how I feel, but I have to go home tomorrow too. And the internet will keep us together, but we'll be far apart in reality. You can't handle long. Well, no, wait, you can handle long distance relationships. You are in one already. We have less than a day left together. Even if I told her my feelings now, it would just trouble her. So, it was a lie. Huh? It was all a lie. A lie? What was? I lied when I said you ring the bell to ensure you return to the spot. Uh, uh, but then, I... Do you remember what I said before about why I started studying English? Yeah, you said it would be useful skills to have for the future. Yes, that's certainly the reason why I started studying English at first. It was my only reason for so long. I thought it would be useful when looking for work or when I travel abroad. But until now, I ever actually felt grateful that I had been studying English. But now all that's changed. These past few days, I felt so grateful that I worked so hard at learning English. 
even when it was annoying and I wanted to quit. I'm so glad, so glad that I kept on. Because thanks to that, I was able to meet you. Because I studied English, I was able to spend this time with you. Makoto. Because during these days we spent together, I've realized, even though we were born and raised in different countries, being able to exchange our thoughts with each other in the same language, it's such an amazing thing. Cue up another door, guys. So, so thank you for saying what you did. No way. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You're the one who gave me a place to stay, showed me all around these places, my road's really going. I think I'm the one who owes everything to you. Oh, no, I didn't do anything special. Yes, you... Anyway. Huh? Anyway, there's one other thing I have to be grateful to you for. Another thing? Yes, that's... It's... You told me an important feeling. One I've never thought before. Thought, felt before. An important feeling? Didn't I tell you I'd never until now no one's ever told me that they... Love me? That's right, she said that on the blah blah blah. But now I think about it, it stands to reason. Because I've never told anyone I love them or really loved anyone before. It's arrogant to expect someone to love me when I've never thought that way about anyone else. It's so simple, but I never realized it until I met you. Now, people. da. Yes, I think I realized it because I met you. You... You told me that I should find someone special. This is... Is this what I think it is? To become happy forever. Huh? That's the real saying. About the Ryu's bell. The real... Yes, if you ring this bell with someone you love, it's a promise to find eternal happiness with them. Da. I knew it. Makoto really does. That Mako. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. Huh? It really is getting dark. That we should head home. Wait. I. Let's go. Akira will be worried about those if we get if it gets too late. That. Makoto. Why? I was going to saying that about me just now. But so why didn't she hear me out before taking me home? In the end, after we went down that hill, Mako went back to normal. As if everything she said on the hill was just a lie. But, I'm sure. Ta-da! Well, that's amazing! Isn't it? I think I exerted myself a little for our last day together. But those are definitely Makoto's words. <clears throat> wait a second. I said, wait a second. Huh? That, what is it? Is that something you don't want to eat, or you just don't want food I made? What do you mean? I worked so hard on this, stop making an expression like you're sucking on lemons. Sorry, I'm just a little lost in thought. If you don't want it, you don't have to force yourself to eat it. I'm eating, I'm eating, your cooking is delicious, I want to fill up on it so I won't forget it after I leave. <laughs> well, if you insist, I'll just let you eat your fill. You two, you really are close. We are not particularly. Even basic English is eluding me. Makoto. Anyway, I'm gonna eat up too. Wait, Oni-chan, that's my line. Anyway, let's toast. For our last night together. Hey, wait a second. Ch cheers. I know for a fact we're right at the end of the game here. And it looks like it'll be just in time for Ryan to finish, or to, yeah. Whew. It's no good, I can't sleep. The more I think about it, the more I wake I feel. Even though I have to get up early tomorrow. How on earth did things turn out this way? I think what Mako was trying to say is that she feels the same way that I do. But in that case, why'd she end the conversation before we could talk about it? It's like you realized what I was going to say and wanted to run away from it. No, it's not just like that. It's exactly that. I could have realized what I was going to say and ran away. This is all down... This is all my own misunderstanding. But... Hmm? Is someone else awake? Is someone up and about this late at night? Um, are you awake in there? Makoto? 
I thought so. What does she want this late at night? Um, can I come in? Uh, yeah, please. Got it on, my food's getting cold. Makoto. Uh, um, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, no, I'm the one who, um, after that, it's hard to break the ice again. Listen! Yeah. I'm... I'm sorry. Huh? Sorry for what? She apologized, but that means... Did she realize how I felt, which means... Well, since I was... It was my first time to trust my feelings in word, I got so embarrassed and... I acted that way to cover for it. Makoto. But things I said then, they weren't a lie. I... I really... Makoto. Huh? Can I tell you what I meant to say to you back then? What you meant to say? Yeah. I'm going back home tomorrow, but I don't know how long it'll be before I can move back to Japan. So I thought maybe it'd be better not to say anything, but I don't want to go home without saying this. At least... At least I need to tell you... Stupid boiler. At least I need to tell you how properly how I feel. How you feel? Yeah, listen, I... Makoto, I love you. No way! Oh yeah. Cue another? Duh. It's absolutely true. I would never lie to someone as amazing as you. But that's... It's not a joke or an attempt at being kind. It's how I really feel. You too. Huh? I... I love you too. Duh. Really? Yes. Makoto. I love you. I'm in love with you. This person with the really, like, inappropriate voice is in love with you. I feel the same way. Mm. My first... kiss. What? Was it? I told you that no man's ever told me he loves me before. So of course I've never been kissed. Now even by my parents, I had a bad childhood. I see. Yeah, I've only just noticed that she's got a little bow tie on her, uh, jumper. Makoto. What is it? I love you. Yes, I love you too. Cute. Okay, that's the last of the check-in procedures. Yeah, my luggage is checked in, now I just have to board the plane. Yeah, just get on board the plane. Once I do, I'll be... Uh, hey, that reminds me. Did you return your suitcase? Is that too funny you mentioned it, Loche? I actually do have quite a long neck. And oh, that's the funniest part. My neck's longer than average, so... Yeah, I've got swan neck, as it's called. Huh? I can return it? Yes, and you'll get back all the money you charged on it. Wow, I didn't know that. Uh, so, where can I do it? Uh, for heaven's sake, I'll do it for you. Give it here. Uh, she's gone. <laughs> Aki-chan does go all out for you. She does. Could have done it myself. <laughs> Makoto. I'm still eating here. <laughs> Hey, Makoto. What is it? Are you going to be sad after I go away? Uh, well, I might just burst out crying and beg you not to go. That's not... <laughs> I'm joking. It would be a lie to say I won't be sad, but I'm not too worried. Because we ran... The... Mer the... 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 Together. We might part ways here, but I'm sure we'll find happiness together someday. I truly believe that. Makoto. Or are you worried that we might drift apart? It's just... you're such an amazing person. I see. I guess you don't trust me at all. Uh, what the, what the, no way, it's not like I don't trust you. Wait up, you two. Yeah. Here, here's your money back. Uh, thanks. Uh, it's about time. Shouldn't you be hanging out? Uh, uh, you're right. Uh, Makoto, about what I just said. Isn't that I don't trust you? <laughs> I know. Huh? Wait a minute! 
Don't worry. I'm yours now, so... Kodo. Wait, you two... When, when, when did you start? That's right. We were born and raised in different cultures, but this, our love sprouted here in Japan. And that'll never change. So... I love how Kira's just like, really? I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Yeah. Promise me. I'll be waiting. So we don't need to say goodbye. Yes. I won't say goodbye. Until the day we meet again. Oh, oh come on, hey. What were you guys doing while I was away? And let's go, go Nippon. Can I skip this? Nope. Well, I'll just keep eating all the credits, boy. There is, but in a previous session we end up going to more of Makoto's areas than Akira's. I mean, I, I streamed this along, like, last year, and people voted to go for the Makoto areas more. Things I do for entertainment, my food's getting gone cold. Oh well. <sighs> it's no use. My dream is finally coming true. I plan on sleeping on the plane so I'd have plenty of energy. But I haven't felt the size bit tired the whole time. But now. Ugh. I only feel totally exhausted, but... We are now beginning our descent. We ask you to fasten your seatbelts at this time. Ugh. I can't go to sleep now. But at last. At last time. I told him my plane's arrival time, so he should come to meet me. Now, isn't, isn't that strange? This is definitely... Guess who? Guess who? You know, the funniest part is, is that actually the person who's meant to represent you, or the character, actually looks somewhat like me, minus the fact that he's missing his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Yeah. I've been wanting to see you. Yeah, me too. Hey. Hmm? There's something I wanted to say to you when we mess again. What? Um. Yeah? Welcome home. Yeah. 